Podcast. I'm Tim the Milkman, and this week we're in Birmingham, Alabama for the World of Wheels. There's a lot of fine custom classics here, and including this Woody here. Check that out, Dollar Bill. Wow. Man, that thing's beautiful, huh? I'd imagine there's a lot more to see. So uh, we'll get to them. Hey, Shane, how you doing, buddy? Good, how are you? Uh, all right, sir. Man, I see you brought a Hornet to the World of Wheels today, man. That thing's clean enough to eat off of, buddy. Tell us a little bit about that thing, man. Uh, I'm looking at the motor, and it looks all original. It is. It's a 308 cubic inch uh, twin H that Hudson built. That's a 52 model. Mm -hmm. Had 170 horsepower. Wow. From factory, 170 horsepower. Wow. Two carburetors on this thing, right? Two one-barrel carburetors. Wow. Check that out. That thing looks cool, man. The the air cleaners are very unique. I love the way they printed the, the, the twin H power on both air cleaners and it's, it's kind of tubed air cleaners. Right. That's pretty it's, neat. It's different setup. Hmm. Uh, very original and unique. That looks pretty cool. All right, now, the paint on this thing, is that factory paint is that in the factory colors the factory or? codes yeah. yes yes okay dark blue top on the light blue body uh some friends of mine back home they got a hornet and it's painted almost like this it's a little more purple but uh these are beautiful cars man thank you thank you this one uh we just finished it actually last week you finished it last week mm -hmm. finished putting it together last week wow just in time for the world <laughs> just in time it's amazing how you people do that man you <laughs> Deadlines. Yeah, deadlines. You finish it right at the last minute and polish it up and get it in here. That's pretty cool. Oh, man, I'm looking at these spotlights on each side of the windshield. Do those work? Yes, yes, they work. And they actually have they have Hudson on, on the top of them. Oh, that's cool. That is cool. Wow. Look at that interior, would you? The, hmm. the interior is actually new old stock material that, that oh, I yeah? found. Yes. Um, it was... It was from SMS Fabrics, we found it. It's it's all all okay. NOS stuff. Step around that door there. I want to get a peek at this because that that does look uh, quite old fashioned and and stock. Wow! Check out the stripes in them seats, Dollar Bill. Is that cool or what? It does look all original. And now is the dash original? Is that wood, the wood grain in it? The the wood grain's not original. It had a different pattern on it that. Uh -huh. uh, I, I didn't have time to duplicate. We uh, man, that's beautiful. We hydro dipped that. It's a it's a burl wood finish. Oh, okay, so it's not actual wood, is it? No, no, it's not actually wood. And it's not really paint, is it? No, no, it's a it's a <laughs> film that's that's dipped in man in, in water. Man, it sure does look good. That's beautiful. Carried it through the door panels and all that. That is beautiful. Yeah, I've never seen one quite like that. Well, all right. So you brought a Camino sitting here next to us as well, right? Yes, sir. Man, like I was telling you earlier, Shane, my senior year, that's what I drove to high school, man, was a big block Camino. Bringing back memories. Oh, boy. Man, love them things. Sort of a car truck, right? Right, right. Best of both worlds. Yeah. And this is, this happens to be the first year for these things, right? 68? Correct. For this body style. Right, yeah. right. And in 69, it was real similar with a different grill in it. Man, that is cool. Looks good. So uh, you do the paint work on these things, man? It's a team effort. It's a team effort. It's a team effort. Uh, we, we've got several guys in the shop that all all work together. Mm -hmm. It's uh, it, it can't take credit for, for any of it. Cool. It's all it's okay. all a team, team effort. We all do whatever it takes to get them done. M&M &M Custom Rods. Yes, sir. Where's that located at? Lynn, Alabama. Okay. Cool. Looks like y'all do some fine work, man. Thank you. Thank you. We're about 20 miles north of Jasper. Okay. Nobody really knows. No, I have no clue. Where, where <laughs> Lynn is now. I'm just west of Atlanta on that side. Just, so. just a wide spot in the yeah. road. <laughs> a wide spot in the road. Yeah. Well, it looks like y'all do some great work, man. Yeah. I'm enjoying looking at them. This is cool. Thank All you. right, Shane. Thanks for bringing them out and showing them to us, buddy. All right, Dollar Bill. Right. Check this out, man. It's Vaughn Hotrod. Hey, Vaughn. Hey, what's happening, dude? The ice cream man. Hey, you got any ice cream sandwiches on you or anything? We, well, you know, some people tease me about coming in here to paint the place because um, I... Oh. That's true. That's true. I can see what that. What color do you want your walls? In? Uh, I'm the milkman. Come the milk on. milkman. Oh, Come I totally on. messed that up. I'm sorry. Uh, chocolate milk. You got any chocolate milk? I ain't got no milk, man. <laughs> oh, man. I'm the milkman, <laughs> milk but man. I ain't got no milk. <laughs> 
Man, I ain't got no milk. Birmingham, Alabama. I run across this guy all over the place, and he he travels as much as I do. Well, uh, yeah. Last time we saw you was in Chattanooga. Yes, Chattanooga. Yeah. And you know what? It was cold there, and it's cold here. Yeah, and you said. You said from the from from California or whatever, you yes. ain't used to that weather. That's what do you right. think now, man? It just man. won't go away. It just, I think it follows me. It's what happens when I land. It snows or rains. So right. It's very cold. But it's a blast out here. I'm having a really good time. That's good. All yeah. right. You love the world of wheels. Yeah, I do. do. I do. I have a blast out here. I'm amazed at how many um, pinstripe high heels end up here in Birmingham. It oh, cracks nice. Me up. You yeah. get a lot. You get to see a lot of chicks, don't you? Well, it's not about that. It's them bringing me shoes. It's bringing me shoes. It is about that. I'm, yeah. I'm just kidding. It's okay. Stripe, hey, stripe in the world, one hot rat at a time. How would you, would you do me a stripe right around this microphone? Absolutely. You got to let oh, go. Well, that'd though, be cooler, so. would That'd be, that'd okay. be fun. We are going to work on that. We'll talk to you guys later. All right. All right, Harlene Hazard. Check out this casket mobile. I know, it's totally dead. Is that cooler, what? I love it. Got skeletons hanging all over it with some nitrous bottles and stuff. That looks like a cool ride. What do you think about the world of wheels so far, Harlene? It's a lot bigger than I was expecting it to be, but it's awesome. I can't wait to look at everything else. It is a good size show. It's uh, two levels, isn't it? I know. I'm excited to see the rest of it. Man, this is just cool. the entrance. That looks like a real casket somebody ca hacked up and put it in. Man, we got to find the owner. Come on, Harlene. Let's go find the owner and get the specs on this one. <laughs> hey, Tony. How you doing? Hey, man. Thanks for showing your car on Hot Rod Madness today, yes, man. What would you bring us to look at? Well, it's a 68 Dodge Charger. Oh, 68. 68. Uh -huh. yeah. Cool. It's got a... 383, 325 horse, okay. uh, mild cam. It's uh, it's pretty well a daily driver. We don't drive it every day, but we drive it regular. Right, so you can jump in this thing on any weekend and take off, right? Grocery getter. Nice, man. Grocery that is cool. Getter. That's a lot of fun when you can yep. drive it. Ain't scared to get in it and go somewhere, right? Uh, that's right. That's and, right. And it's pretty enough to where you can bring it to the world of wheels and show it to everybody. That's great, ain't Beautiful, it? man. Thank 68s you. now. I'm familiar. Back in high school, I used to ride to school in a 69 Charger. Yes, sir. And they look real identical, right? Mm-hmm. What's do. the difference between 68 and 69, maybe? Well, all 68s got the round marker lights. True tail of the okay. 68 model Dodge Chrysler products, all's got the round marker lights. Okay, uh, cool. Uh, it's got the round tail lights versus mm -hmm. the... Uh, Long slotted tail lights on the 69 Charger, plus the 69 Charger's got a break in the grill where this one's solid all the way across. Man, I learn something new every time out. Love it. I, I love it. Well, I man, love that's, it. that's why I do what I do. Well, thank this you. Cool. Thank you. Beautiful red paint job, man. Did you paint that? It is. Uh, a buddy of mine painted that in the side shed at his house. Really? You know, he okay. did. Did an excellent job. It wasn't painted on a dirt floor, was it? It was. Man, it's it amazing was. what kind of paint job you can turn out on a dirt floor. It was. That's awesome, dude. It well, is. I love Thank to you. hear those stories, Thank man. you. Thank you. That is cool. The engine looks all original. Is that from it, factory, just like that? It is. It is. Okay. I, I went through the engine, just did a uh, yeah. freshen up. Uh, when we painted it, it was uh, a little bit ragged under the hood, okay. you know, didn't buff out, clean up good in yeah. the door panels. So, had the engine out, I thought I'd take advantage of it and went through it. Man, that's cool. Mm -hmm. All right. Nice car, man. Well, thank you. Thank you. So, uh, what do you say we get a peek at that interior, man? Great, great. Right. Let me open it up. Okay. All right, Tony, check this interior out, man. Yep. The interior looks factory too, dude. It is. I've covered the front two seats in it. The driver's seat had a split, one of the creases in it right there. Okay. I've covered the front two seats in it. Yeah. The rest of the interior is pretty much stock. Man, that is nice. Okay. Taken care of. The man I bought it from yeah. loved the car. Yeah, it looks like it's been well taken care of, man. No tears, no rips. That looks great. All factory? It factory is. shifter and all? It is. Okay. Everything's factory. Nice, man. Is it Now, has that vinyl top been replaced before? Not to my knowledge. Wow. Okay. Not to my knowledge. It's all slick and shiny and new looking. You can't tell sometimes. That's you know? right. Uh, the man that owned this car died. I bought it from mm. his wife. And okay. uh, when I went to see it, it was covered up in her garage. And when I uncovered it, I was very pleasantly surprised. Yeah. You know? Okay. Right. Cool. Well, all right. I appreciate Go. you showing Go. it to us. <laughs> Go. Dance. Who's ever danced with a stormtrooper? <laughs> All right, man, check this out. I walked up on this four-wheel drive Camaro and this thing. I'm gonna find out. Hey, man, hey, you own this thing? I built it. You built this? Yeah. All right, now tell us, what kind of body is that? It's a, like a GT40. 
Okay. Wow. And it's on in some kind of four wheel drive frame. K5 what? four wheel drive frame on. Yeah. What's that? Uh, what kind of running gear then? Chevrolet. Okay. All Chevrolet. No Chevrolet running Small gear under block. GT40 body. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's Small just block motor on. that's just mad, man. What's your name? Stacy Barnes. Okay, Stacy. Man, uh, you got a 350 Chevrolet under the hood there. Yeah. Let's walk around to the side and Thank look inside you. of it. I, I check this thing out. That's just outrageous, man. What inspired you to build something like that, man? Had a frame, no body. Had a frame, a motor, no body. Yeah. So uh, that body come out that before you get to Tennessee. Uh huh. Okay. Supercar gone mad. Okay. Well, what would you What would you call it? <laughs> what do you call that? A four wheel, wheel drive, drive GT40. <laughs> four wheel drive. That's pretty neat, man. Do you uh? Well, looking at it, I guess, I'm guessing you don't never take it in the mud. Check the video out. Oh yeah, you're in the mud, slinging rooster tails. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool, man. All Both right. of them out here. Both of them. Yeah. All right. So that dude gets that green monster Camaro over there in the mud too, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, he's got a video over here that shows him blasting in the mud with these things. It's pretty clean too. You couldn't tell that he takes it off road. Video. Yeah, there it is. Oh, he's in the snow just to get in it in that thing. Check him out. All right, how long have you? Has it been since you built this thing? Oh, uh, about a month ago. A month ago. Yeah. So it's a fresh build, huh? Pretty much. All right, so you and your buddy get in your backyard and just uh, hack at whatever you got, right? Hey. All right. Four-wheel drive. Where do you find a GT40 body like that? Some guy in Tennessee had that one. Okay. And uh, it yeah. was just the body. You just found that at random, right? Pretty much. Hey, let's see if it'll bolt up on that frame. And you went for it, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> That's made cool. that out of it. Yeah. Okay, I'm standing here with Larry. And look what he brought us at the World of Wheels here. Now, now I'm lost for words on this thing, Larry. What, what do you call this? It's a Sterling Phantom. Okay. A Sterling Phantom. 1972. Right. 72. Wow. So this ain't a fresh build? No, it's an old, wow. old one. So this thing's been built for quite a while, right? Right. Right. That's pretty amazing because it looks like it's a fresh build. That, that's pretty cool. Uh, uh, I have not aired one of these on my show. As a matter of fact, I ain't seen one. It's so you're gonna. One. So we're gonna go around it, man. I got to get you to tell me about this stuff. What kind of motors in that thing? It's a Scat high performance. Okay. Engine Volkswagen. All right, got you. About 150 horses. All right. What kind of frames under? Is that? It's all uh, Karma gear, running gear. Okay. Same thing, Volkswagen running gear. Understand. So you. You married that body on that pan back right. in 72. Where did you get a body like that? Well, I just ended up this thing four years ago. It was sitting in a dog pen when I got really? it. Really? Yeah. <laughs> in and a dog pen? It rotted. Nothing was ever completed on it. All right. You know, the dash is cardboard and stuff like that. Like a, the guy told me it's a prototype. Uh -huh. It was supposed to be in the World of Wheels in 74, and he left it his place. For some reason, never came and got it. Okay. So that's why I end up with. So you got a hold of it, and wow, look, man, that's pretty amazing. You uh, you put all this together yourself, didn't you? Every inch of it. Wow, that is really cool. The clear coat, the guy done a clear coat for me, yeah. and painted the orange on it. That's a pretty cool supercar, man, made from a Carmen Ghia. Not bad. I, I saw it from a distance. I'm going, man, that yeah. thing is awesome. We got to get the story on that. Oh, it's all cool, man. It's yeah. I built firewalls, okay. the exhaust, every light I had to file out with the file, build the glass, all, all right. air injection. Love the tail lights, what you did with that. That looks yeah. great. All yeah. right, now we'll step around here and get a picture of the, uh, the all interior. Right, Larry, tell us a little bit about the interior, man. It looks like uh, looks like your butt ain't but a few inches off the, off the ground when you're sitting in it. It's there, it's on the ground. Yeah. I had to build the, fr the frame mm -hmm. for the seat where nobody would hit their head on the ceiling because you lay back like in a recliner. <laughs> Not a lot of headroom in there, no huh? No headroom at all. But the extra compartments and all the countertop, I use countertop for mica for the top. Okay. And all the console and push button electronic controls, <laughs> I built them. Wow, okay. I built the frame where I got all the hose going through the, here and yeah. here to the engine where they really work. Nice choice on the wheels too, man. It matches the car yeah, my buddy, quite that, nice, man. My buddy Mike Bagley hit me put yeah. them out. Okay. Know, Jimmy Hodge. They know. look good on the orange, you know. Right. Orange is one of my favorite colors. Yeah. Yeah. And I bet this thing is a blast to drive around oh, in it. I got about yeah. 20 miles on it since I painted it. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Wow, and you in the trunk here you got a bottle of champagne and some glasses. Wow. Ready to wine and dine on this thing, right? 
Yes, if I go to a drive-in, I don't yeah. I can save eight bucks. Okay. So. <laughs> All right. Have our movie here. Have oh, our yeah. wine Flat screen up in the hood there. Yeah. Well, play my own movie. Okay. All right. I guess that comes in handy. Oh yes, yeah, very <laughs> handy. All right. Have a little bottle of champagne. Yeah. Well, all right, Larry. I appreciate you showing it to us, man. That's an Thank awesome you. ride, dude. Thank you. All right, sir. Okay. Hey, Johnny. How you doing, sir? I'm doing all right. You? I'm doing just fine, man. I'm a big fan of the rat rod, man. I had to come over here and get the specs on this one, buddy, and I happen to know you built this one, right? Right. All right, dude. Yeah. You, you built this in your backyard? In my garage, yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Man, I'm looking at a small block Chevrolet and that thing, am I right? right. Yeah, it's um, 355, it's got a Corella crank, Corella rods, mm -hmm. 202 heads, 480 oh. reed cam, okay. roller front drive, 28, 2500 stall converter, and then you can see the intake and carburetor and all that. All right, well, uh, 202 heads. That means nothing but power, man. I bet this That's thing will it. burn rubber on it. It'll run a quarter in the high tens. Wow, so you raise it too? I have. I've run it down the strip at Gulfport, yeah. Okay. That's fun, ain't it? But it, I built the truck for burnout competitions. Yeah, I was going to say, this thing with a motor like that, a lightweight body and all, it ought to burn rubber pretty good. Yeah. In last March, we blew nine tires in Gulfport nine to win tires. the championship down there. Wow. Right. All right, when, when we're done here, I want to get some information on this burnout contest. I'd love to come air that on my show. All right, well, it's that next cool. March. Man, that, that'd yeah, be cool. It's coming up, really. Yeah, okay. Right. Nice, man. Step over here. I want to look at the interior. Now, as we know, people get quite creative with these rat rods, and uh, the interior is no exception. That looks like burlap for the seats, man. It's the, the back is the original seat. Okay. The bottom is the back out of a back seat of a 95 Camaro. All right, okay. And, and it's just covered with the burlap. Yeah. And we had to cover the back because it was all the pieces. Man, but I gotta ask, does it ride good? It actually does. It, it does? really don't right. ride that bad. Okay. Right. You got a pretty decent suspension under it then. It's all, there's, never, there's another one like it in the world. That's okay. all handmade. Really, so what yeah. did you use for the frame and the suspension? Well, the frame's two before tubing. Okay. All right. The rear, the rear suspension is just Leaf 79 Camaro. Yeah. It's okay. got a 373 gears with Detroit locker in it. Mm -hmm. The front's a 39 Dodge axle with a Model T buggy spring <laughs> suspension. That's cool, man. So that's it. <laughs> Dude, this thing make a major burnout contest vehicle. That, that's cool. That's what it's I for. That's, that's what I mainly built it for. It looks like an early model Chevrolet bed rail. 49. Yeah, okay. 49. You know, don't you? Yeah, know, yeah. you've been around, ain't you? <laughs> yep. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's I got, 49. Well, I advertised the show with my 53 pickup. That's how okay. I, I got the yeah. same bit on my truck. So it's, it's Chevrolet for yeah. the radiator is 24 uh, Chrysler. Okay. But it's got a 65 Mustang radiator inserted in it. Oh, gotcha. All right, all right. cool. So it, it makes it all. It's all hand built. Yeah, lift the mechanical fan on it. That's cool. Uh, I had uh, You made your own headers for this, Brett, didn't you? Yes. That looks good, man. Everything made. I made the, the adapter from the four barrel to the two four. Now that's quite unique. I, you yes. don't, you know, when you, when you can make your own adapters, that's not, just anybody can do that, you know? Right. You're running a single four on a tunnel rim, two Correct. four tunnel rim. That's right. <laughs> okay. And it works good, but believe it or not, yeah. it'll, it'll frost over it'll... when you're driving it. It gets frost on it. Really? From That's right. The, the adapter or the, the tunnel adapter, rim? The adapter. Up in the V okay. of the adapter, it'll get just hard frost. It starts freezing up on you running Correct. down the road. Right. And I had a guy tell me it would do that, and I was like, ah, that's bull. But it, it, it does. It does, huh? It does, yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, that's really cool as a matter of fact. It freezes right. up. <laughs> and believe it or not, it works. It, it runs. It runs really good. But everybody knows, man, that uh, you, the cooler your fuel, the better it runs, right? Correct. Yeah. That's right. So does it help, you think? Well, it don't hurt. Yeah. Hey, whatever. <laughs> as long as it runs. That's right. Yeah. I didn't run it the other way, so I don't know. It's okay. always ran that way, so that's, that's, I guess it does. Real interesting, man. That's cool. Yeah. Love the visor. Nice, man. I have no idea what that is. Yeah, it ain't, it ain't Swap me. Yeah. The, the rear fenders swap me. I don't know. Yeah, they're pieced together, man. I see right. somebody widen them or whatever. For yeah, too. I guess because the Camaro <laughs> rear end's a little bit right. more wider than what you got there, yeah. That's right. All right. All right. 
good deal, man. Hey, I appreciate you showing it to us, buddy. You're welcome. All right, sir. All right. Yeah.